What is up, Shushwap Nation? I am at Shushwap Float and Wellness. I'm about to take a float myself. Kate has invited me here to partake in the floating, and I'm quite excited to do that. She went over a massive amount of rules, which is like, do not touch these. And um, get in and out safely, make sure that you shower beforehand, make sure you shower a lot afterwards, because this is going to have a lot of Epsom salts in it. And then she also mentioned that I should take a selfie and like examine my body in this in this mirror before I go in, just because it like it, it, it like relaxes you, it changes you sort of like you it's complete sensitive deprivation, and that's kind of what I'm excited for because you you float you literally like you're floating in space. That's what it feels like because of the amount of salts in there, the buoyancy stuff like that, and uh, um, we're gonna see how how well it goes and how much salt I actually have on me at the end of this. Okay, shower is done, I am clean. Now time to hop in this pod. And since my phone is waterproof, I can actually bring it in there with me. <laughs> actual floating, and not just like in fresh water, but in buoyancy salt water. That's an interesting feeling. All right, let's relax. I can't believe an hour is up already, like, that literally just floated on by. It's also time to get in the shower because rinsing all of this salt off is super important. Like a pound of salt comes out of that thing with you when you get out. It's crazy. Now it's like dripping down my face. I can taste it. It's so gross. And like at one point, a little bit went in my eye and holy crap, did that burn. So I'm gonna rinse this off like right now. So what's my first impressions of floating? I really like it. I learned a couple things about my body, like my shoulders like rest up here. Uh, when I put my shoulders above my, or my hands above my head like this, uh, my arms didn't go numb. Or usually when I'm like on a bed or something, they do. Uh, my legs when like totally rested or like that far apart versus anything else. It was really interesting. I'm not touching anything, not seeing anything, not feeling anything. It was super cool because like the, the water is like skin temperature as well, so you, you don't really feel much. You feel sort of like floating, of, of course you would, but like any, any movement would just allow you to slowly float across the, the, the water surface, just because there's, there's so little tension because of the amount of salt that's in there. It truly was like being in space, completely weightlessness. Like it, it, if I actually had like some sort of like injuries from car crashes or something like that, I think that would feel amazing just because it would, it would relieve so much pressure off of those points. But for me, I don't really have those issues, but going into it with like, I want to think through this problem. I want like nothing else disturbing me. So you, you go in one of these and yeah, you can think through problems, issues, like that hour went by like so quickly. I didn't even realize it. Like all of a sudden the lights turned on. I was like, oh, it's time to get out. Well, I let my mind just like, float through whatever issues, whatever problems I was having. I think I came up with some, some solutions. I think I came up with some like, some good stuff just like being in that pod. So am I gonna do this again? Absolutely. Do I think other people should try this out? Whether it for like, they're trying to figure something out like mentally, they're trying to like, okay, I need to figure this problem out. I need somewhere to go where I can only think about that problem and nothing else. And just like allow your, your mind to just Think about solutions that you may not have because you have stimulus from every direction at every point. Just put your phone on silent or on airplane mode, go in there, have a good think. I think it's really good. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing this again at some point. Never actually like have a, a solid problem to, to, to need to think through. And um, yeah, totally, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's finish eating Drastin. Head out.